So over here, I am in the home page of CapCut and here you can see that there's option to create project. You can choose from one of these presets right here or you can start with these tools or you can use these tem templates and then start working with CapCut as well. Over here on the left side, you see workspaces right here. So by default, you get a workspace based on your name right here that you entered out while you sign up for a, a CapCut uh, account. So over here, you can access out all the templates right here and search for templates that you want to use. And over here, you get to the start that is the home button right here. You can navigate around right here by using the arrow keys in case you don't see all of them right here. Over here on the top, you can see that there's tools that you can access, like you can access out the uh, video editor for desktop or editor for mobile and other tools right here. On the create side, you can see that you have access to different presets right here. And you can see like resources and you can access the download section as well, just like this. So over here, um, this is the home page. And now let's explore the CapCut interface itself. So to do that, I'm going to go around and create a blank canvas. The project for a CapCut is known as a canvas. And once you, uh, once you go around onto canvas, let me just go around and skip right here um, uh, for the guideline. Uh, this is the interface, as you can see right here. On the left hand side, you can access your medias, you can access out stock videos right here, you can access out audio right here, you can access out text as you can see right here as well. So there's text right here, you can go around and access out captions. So it does take a bit of time depending on your internet connection speed as you can see, because this is a web app right here. Similarly, there's captions that you can add in, which also goes around and adds in auto lyrics, uh, manual captions and auto captions right here. There's stickers that you can access as well to make your videos interesting. You can access out effects over here. There's transitions that you can access filters and library as well. So there's different media that you can import right here as well. Over here on the bottom side, you can see that this is the timeline and the timeline controls. And from over here, you can go around and then see the preview window right here, where you can go around and see whatever is being edited. Right now, I'm not seeing anything because there's no clip, but let me just go around and upload um, a video quickly from my computer right here, just like this. So let's just go around and select this file. And here you can see that as I upload a video file over here on the right hand side, you get the video controls, like you get the cutout, you get the background, you get the audio speed and animation settings for this particular video that you can go around and choose and apply right here, just like this. Let's go around and click right here and it is applied as you can see. And that is how you can go around and then utilize CapCut's interface to apply out different effects and then edit out videos. And in this tutorial series, we're going to go around and explore out these tools so that you can edit your videos with ease by using CapCut. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.